expert news and views on the low country real estate scene. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show on 1250 WTMA. Welcome back to the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show here on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA. Thanks again for joining me this morning as we talk about real estate. We're focusing this particular show, this particular hour on the shift in the market. What's happening out there? I'm sure if you've read the news recently or, or Googled um, you know, real estate market update, the news isn't uh, as, as bright and shiny as it has been for the past several years. There are now some articles out there that say you know, national closings are down and um, buyer sentiment is down. All sorts of different um, cues that tell us, okay, the market is starting to shift. The glory days are coming to an end. And so what I wanted to do is spend a little bit more time on just the, the overall stats that we have access to that are put out by the Charleston Trident Association of Realtors, as well as all the stats that I have the ability to run, uh, because again, I'm a numbers geek. Um, and I, <laughs> I honestly, guys, I, I looked at numbers before airing this show for, I would say, a good four or five hours this week. Just really uh, entrenched myself into analysis of this market because this is important stuff. Our market is shifting. There's no doubt about it. Are we slightly more insulated than other areas of the country? Yes, of course. We got a lot going on for us here in Charleston, and that's awesome. But the signs are there. The writing is on the wall. It's starting to come through in the numbers, and that's really what I want to focus on. Uh, But again, if you have questions, if you want to know what your home is worth, if you want to know if you're in that market where you're still going to see some appreciation at a fairly rapid pace, or if the appreciation has started to flatline, and you might as well sell now because the longer you wait, the more expensive it's going to be for a buyer to afford your home given interest rates going up. Or maybe you're one of those sellers that's in a market that is really starting to cool down. You know, there's actually been a little bit of a dip in pricing. Uh, and there are a few different areas of the market that are seeing that already. Um, now, of course, whenever you get to the top of a market or the bottom of a market or the top or bottom of a cycle, there's always a little bit of a bounce. Uh, and so that's a little bit of what we're seeing right now. But it doesn't excuse the fact that there are legitimate issues with our market that are going to return it to normalcy. So let, without further ado, let me, let me tell you a little bit more about what's going on in our local market. And again, if you want to reach out to me, 843-345-1273. Again, that's 843-345-1273 or go to listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. So here's what's going on in the Tri-County area. And I'm just going to read off some stats because this is typically what agents are looking at if they're following the market at all. And I'm here to tell you guys, there are a lot of them that aren't. You ask them, hey, how's in the market? And they take that as a question about, hey, how is your business? And they say, oh, it's great. Or... Uh, yeah, it's okay. I think what a lot of people are asking is, hey, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Are prices going up, down? I always ask for more information when people ask me that question because I could go a variety of different ways with that answer. But here's what's going on in our, in our market year to date compared to 2017. New listings are up about a percent. Pending deals, meaning all contracts that have been signed between a buyer and seller are up 2%, but closings have stayed the same. We're, we're flat on that. Last year, we were at 56 days on market. This year, we're at 52. Last year's median sales price was 250. This year's median sales price is 266. So we're up 6.5% on that, which is big. That's, that's bigger than we thought it was going to be this year. If you look at the um, housing affordability index, which I've talked about a lot on this program, Last year was at 113, now it's at 106. And and just the simple way of understanding that is affordability is going down. As interest rates go up and as prices go up, affordability goes down because wages are not increasing at the rate at which it's going to cost you to afford your home, especially when you're getting a mortgage. If you look at inventory of homes for sale, we're down about 9%. Last year uh, in September, there were almost 6,000 properties available for sale. At the end of September this year, we were at a little over 5,400. So all of that shrinks down the month's supply of inventory to three and a half months, whereas last year we were at four. So on the surface level, it still appears as though we're headed 
deeper into a seller's market. Let me show you something else or, you know, let you listen to something else. <laughs> I've got all these, you know, documents here that I have actually I have three pieces of paper that have stats on it. And that's a, a function of, again, hours worth of uh, number crunching and, and data analysis, which again, I, I enjoy for some weird reason. But anyways, it's of benefit to my clients. I think it's of benefit to you in listening to this program because you want to be able to read between the lines. You need to be able to trust the information that you're receiving and making decisions off of about the future plans that you have to buy, sell, or invest in real estate. And that's what I'm passionate about is providing fantastic quality information that you can do something with that's accurate, that's backed by experience from somebody that's in the market every day doing this as their day job and doing it well, quite frankly. But so here's, here's what I pulled. So I just read you those stats. They all look good. They all sound good. When I look at the active listings in our market right now, the median sales price, or I'm sorry, the median asking price is $380,000. Another way of saying that is the median price per square foot is 183. That's for everything on the market. They've been on the market about 86 days on average. If you look at what's going under contract, we're at 141 a square foot. And they're selling in 30 days, 31 to be exact. If you look at what's selling, what's actually closed, the uh, price per square foot is 142. So interestingly, we've got this massive number of people on the market that are substantially overpriced, substantially overpriced. It also means that the higher priced, more valuable real estate isn't selling. If you look at what's canceled, you know, the properties that did not sell, we call those expired and canceled listings. The For expireds, the price per square foot was 189 and they were on the market 184 days on average before uh, they were taken off the market. And then if you look at things that are canceled where the seller or the agent proactively says, hey, I'm taking this house off the market. And expired just means the agreement's up. I gave you six months to sell my house. You didn't do it. Our agreement's up. Canceled is, hey, you know what? I know we signed this for six months. It's been three. Uh, we're not getting anywhere with this. We're going to take the house off the market. So the cancelleds are at 165 a square foot. So it's very clear in these numbers, and I ran these in a few different areas and a few different price ranges just to you know, make sure that overall, this statement is factual, which it is. And I can show you that data for your particular area. And it's going to be slightly different, but the bottom line is this. Properties are overpriced. Our active inventory is overpriced by about 11%. And what these stats that some agents tell you um, don't really uh, properly convey is that, you know, for, let's say that something is listed for $100,000 and it sells for $98,000. So that's it's getting 98% of its asking price, which is an impressive statistic. But what a lot of those stats don't take into account is that those properties started off at $115,000 and then they reduced to a hundred to sell for 98. That's what we're seeing right now. That's why days on market is creeping up. That's why homes are uh, not seeing as many showings because buyers know value. And it's very clear that when you price your home correctly, it sells quickly. 25 days is how long it takes on average to sell a property when it's priced correctly. Isn't that interesting? So that's what's going on in our market right now. Yes, the sales look good, but if you're only focusing on the closings, you're missing a huge piece of the pie here, which are all the properties that are on the market that need to come down in price or they just need to decide not to sell right now. That's why we're seeing expired and canceled listings creep up because first and foremost, the agent isn't giving the seller proper direction. They are not analyzing the market like they should be. They're doing this game of leapfrog, which is what we've been doing for years. I've done it. It's worked. I've gotten my clients more money than the neighbor that sold down the street last month. That's what happens in an up market. But very soon, if not now already, sellers are going to have to start pricing their home at the same price the home across the street sold for. And then, of course, you know, a few years down the road, we're not there yet, 
you're going to have to start pricing it below. That's just what happens in the natural ups and downs of a real estate market and a real estate cycle. And I've seen the cycle. I know how to be successful in all facets of it. And I know how to guide my clients through that process. I know how to position them to sell, accomplish their goal, or be that agent that says, what you want to do is not going to be supported by the market right now. And I'm okay with being that person because we have too many agents and too many listings as a result of those agents telling the seller whatever they want to hear just to put a sign in the yard. And if it sells, great. If it doesn't sell, maybe I'll get a few buyer calls and maybe I can sell those buyers a property. So it's not a total loss for me. Yeah, it sucks for the seller, but um, at least I have another business opportunity. And there are so many agents out there using that tactic. What's what's scary, quite frankly, is that you as a seller don't know if the seller, or I'm sorry, the agent that you're interviewing is there because they really want to sell your house and they're going to have integrity and they're going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Or if they're one of those agents that says, hey, I'm going on a listing appointment and I'm taking this listing no matter what because I need some business. And if this house sells, fantastic. If it doesn't, I can get some leads off it no matter what. So I might as well leverage that opportunity. And so when we come back, I want to tell you a little bit more about what agents are going to start doing, the impact that's going to have on their business and the impact that's going to have on you as a seller and as a buyer and what you need to know to position yourself correctly to be successful in this market as it continues to shift. So again, if you want to reach out to me, you want to talk more about real estate privately, you want to talk more about your interest in selling, maybe just get a better understanding of What's going on in your particular market? What's your home worth right now? Do I anticipate it going up, staying the same, reducing slightly? And let's put a plan together uh, to make sure that your transition into a new home uh, is, is as good as it can possibly be. So my number is 843-345-1273. Again, that's 843-345-1273. Or go to my website, listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com. I'll be right back. Have a real estate question? Ask Brian Beatty. Send him an email, lowcountryhomesales at gmail.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show is on 1250 WTMA. 